happen now. Now is the vibrate. You know, not too far in the future. Not too far in the past. Right now, y'all probably wondering why I'm not in front of the camera. That's because just doing a little video right quick talking about uh doing crystal grids you know with some of the crystal grids you basically like place the crystals in a certain formation and depending on the formation they will give off a certain type of energy you know but uh i did uh a few little videos on crystal grids before maybe one or two but basically uh Another thing, instead of like a little crystal grid right in front of you, you would have like crystal grids like to place like in the corners of the house. So like say fence or the corners of a room. So like you would have a, a crystal maybe in the four corners of one room to take away negativity. It's different different types of, of uh, grids, you know, for different situations. And I know they have a lot of grid making that's already out there, like as far as like, you know, that tell you, all right, place a piece of citrine, five pieces of citrine around one piece of kyanite, and this will bring uh, uh, bring abundance, uh, stop you from being negative, you know. And like uh, I made this video to also show like that I, I'm what I've been doing is doing intuitive uh, grids. So like I don't look or learn from anybody. I just take uh, like the stones. For one, I intuitively go with the stones that. I feel like I need to meditate with at the moment. As you can see, all these stones are my black stones, so I mean, I, I need to keep a lot of negativity away from it, you know. And I just came up with this grid just, you know, intuitively. I was like, all right, I'm gonna take the black kyanite and place it in the middle. I'm gonna do some hematite on the side. Uh, you know, it's hematite. Uh, this is smoky quartz. This is tourmaline. Uh, Black Obsidian, uh, this is Onyx, this is Numite, Garnet, or these two pieces Garnet, Raw Tourmaline, uh, more Smoky Quartz right here, uh, then I got Bloodstone, I got Tektite, I got a Apache Tear, and then I was actually holding this, uh, this Dravite, Dravite, Basically, it's like a, what they would call, some people call it brown tourmaline or champagne tourmaline, but dravite. And I was holding this in my hand during meditation. But, you know, just sometimes you mix it up, do your own intuitive grids, you know. Because another thing, once your intu intuition gets strong enough, you know what I'm saying, you could kind of do, you know, kind of sway it however you want, you know. Like, basically... You know, however you feel, like, all right, I feel like I should put this citrine in the middle and put three carnelias around and then maybe like a green aventurine, you know, on the outermost ring. You know, like, it's it's up to you, you know what I'm saying? But there are grids already set up and already, how can I say, uh, example grids or grids already, you know, set up that people have, how can I say, have the... Had the blueprints for them already, you know what I'm saying? Well, all right, this is for clearing your mind. This is for keeping negative entities out of your house. This is for raising the vibration. This is for this and that, you know what I'm saying? There are different ones, but also, you know, have fun with it. Let your intuition, you know, go with the grids. Like, you know, just just whatever your brain tells you, just place the stones in that order, in that shape, and, you know, and see what you come out with. You know, meditate, pay attention to how you had your grid, you know, and, and come back with results. Remember that, all right, man, when I when I had this tourmaline, this uh, venturine, and this dravite, when I had had them in the shape of a star David, man, I had so much energy that day, you know what I'm saying? Like that that crystal grid, you know what I'm saying, the way you intu intuitively put together, you know, it ended up giving you energy or whatever, but, you know, however you decide to do it. Like I said, it's pretty cool to just, you know, go with the flow intuitively, you know. Just use that intuition, that third eye, that first eye vision, you know, and make you a grid. And of course, I know I showed y'all a video on my, you know, it's been recently got updated, but, you know, this is the corner for my dad, my ancestor corner. You know, that's his laptop, his old, uh, old school hat, Holy Ghost, his slippers. 
his old radio and then a Lee Oscar record that I let get sunburned in the car. <laughs> now we got my, this is for Gay Day. One of the, you know, I think Gay Day is uh, basically kind of incorporated with the bowing, you know, with the graveyard cemetery entities. Got him a cigar, black candle. And these coins and these cigars are for Bowen Samdi. This is some hot pepper sauce with cayenne in it for Gay Day. And Gay Day also this offering where you have the glass lens with one, you know, one lens missing. Got ices over here. Sitting pretty. Got Ulex, Ulexite. And it says Ulexite and that's uh, Blue Appetite and then some Celestite, some Jet. Uh, let's see. This is a Lemurian Seed Crystal Quartz. And, huh, my Crystal Skull. Got a candle for abundance. There we go, I got a little tobacco pipe for a leg bar. Three pennies, which I kind of did like six pennies crossing each other, because he also like uh, you know the the watch of the crossroads, you know the he he brings that line of communication between the visible and invisible, and you know he deals with the crossroads, so he like bones his offerings, or three pennies in the doorway, you know, and also uh like uh they deal with the saints too, like uh during slavery, you know they couldn't just do voodoo right out in the open so the saints got incorporated by them trying to hide from the slave masters so they would you know tie a certain saint to different entities like leg by and oshun they would you know give them like little catholic entities or christian entities you know or saints that go with them so they could still like so when when somebody come around it seemed like they're basically into christianity and not still doing their voodoo that's Papa Legbo walking stick. As a matter of fact, you can back up and see. You know, got my little picture. Got my little crystal pendulum. Got the eye raw, which I took one of them off and put it on my chain. <laughs> you know, and it's Oshun. Oshun's altar. She like uh, this is uh, some water from the Mississippi River right here. You know, some cinnamon. I I don't have no honey, but I got to do a cinnamon and honey, and I got to taste it before I give it to her also, because she got poison once. She likes jewelry, the color yellow, obviously, uh, shells, uh, amber, you know, some bells, you know, but, yep. But back to the, you know, ending on this note. <laughs> You know, when you're doing your crystal grids, you could do them intuitively. So just kind of go with the flow of what you, you know, what the first eye telling you, what that, what your higher self, you know, tell you how to place your crystals. Just go with the flow and see what happens, you know. But I'm out. Peace. Happy now. Now's the vibrate. Not too far in the future. Not too far in the past, right now. Peace.